Well, welcome. I know you got a lot of people very excited to see you, and you're in the midst of a, a really good season, so you got to be kind of flying high, feeling good when you're meeting these fans. Oh, it's great. I mean, to come to the Dodge headquarters and then to have the success like we've had on the track this year, everybody gets to celebrate, and everybody's smacking high fives and saying, keep it up. And when you're doing it uh, as just one group, because Penske Racing is the only Dodge group out on the track, it makes it feel that much more special. Uh, when you meet these people and you see the looks in their eyes, these are the people behind the brand, what, uh, what do you see in their eyes, and what do they say to you? Well, it's like family. It comes full circle because we all are driven to, to race and to work for Dodge. And so when that brand wins out on the track, we hope we're selling more cars and keeping everything rolling and keeping the flow. What's happening well for you this year? Why are you having such success? Well, I mean, we've been hit or miss. We've had some misses this year where we weren't good out on the racetrack, but mainly the new crew chief, Steve Addington, his knowledge and experience has really picked up our game. Uh, tell me about MIS. This is a place where I know a lot of you guys look forward to running. Uh, you got some room to work. Uh, it's a place where you can sort of let it loose. Do you look forward to coming to tracks like this? Yeah, this is uh, one of the, the fun race tracks where the drivers can't wait to get there because there's so many options out on the track to choose from with low groove, middle groove, uh, the high groove, you name it. You just race where somebody isn't. I read an article recently that was saying that NASCAR isn't struggling but could use some more rivalries, some more bitterness between the drivers. You're a good guy to talk to about this. Do you feel that that is missing a little bit and, and can that help just that little personal rivalry between drivers and teams? Yeah, it definitely can. I mean, you want to read all of the, the cool articles about the good racing that's going on and then you got to read about the National Enquirer type moments that happen in our sport with drivers feuding and right now there's a, a couple that's going at it. Somebody's selling t-shirts off of what somebody had said so that gets back to really the heart that helped build our sport and that's the foundation of the rivalries. So you have some appreciation for that history and I'm sure that's part of what made you a fan originally, isn't it? Well, I'm more into the racing side of it. You know, I don't go for the wrecks or go for the drama. I go for the racing, but that's just me. I'm a racer. But there's all types of people and opinions that come out and watch us. Give me your thoughts on, on Brad, because there's a guy from here who people, you know, pay a lot of attention to, and, and he's got a lot of success in the Nationwide Series so far, but how's he breaking into the Sprint Cup Series? Yeah, he's a hard charger. He goes right after it, and he just has to get the feel of the Cup cars as good as he has in a Nationwide, and then he'll find that success. And so it's just a matter of time. I mean, it's like anybody. You just can't jump from AAA baseball or, so to speak, and go into the pros and have success right away. I want to ask you one more, and this is just about your own uh, relationship and maybe rivalry with your bro. Because, I mean, you guys uh, are going at it, and, you know, it seems like one week one of you is winning, the next week the other one's winning, one week one of you is wrecking, the next week the other one's wrecking. What's that relationship like when you're not on the same team and you're still competing? Well, we're like teammates in a sense. We both uh, root for each other, but at the same time, it's a genuine rivalry. We both want to beat each other, and that's just the brothers in us. You know, you can't separate that fact, but at the same time, we, we think a lot alike when we're out on the track together racing, so you treat each other like a teammate.